Vincent Harbor Mayor Marcus Muhammad is calling for a federally subsidized apartment complex to either be gutted or renovated. Now, the eight floor, 80 unit apartment complex opened up back in 1968 and will cost millions of dollars to renovate or demolish and rebuild. Mayor Muhammad points to black mold, water damage from burst pipes, lead pipes, asbestos, and non-functioning elevators as just some of the reasons he would like to see the building renovated. He says the living conditions in the Harbor Towers are inhumane and cites a similar project happening in St. Joseph as a reason to push this plan. You know, it's not a problem. We can stand here and, and highlight and talk about the problems and the issues. That's good for a diagnosis. But now we need the treatment. We need the, the execution and we need HUD to step in uh, to work with the Ben Harbor Housing Commission to say, number one, we must evacuate this building. We must get these residents to safe and a clean place to lay their head. And while we do that, we need to do the renovations and then bring them back like they're doing at Lake Terrace in St. Joseph. The Benton Harbor Housing Commission tells our reporting partners at the Herald Palladium that, quote, the majority of the issues at Harbor Towers are caused by unauthorized loiterers and guests and that they have developed a short term strategic plan for immediately improving the property. The Housing Commission adds that it is their intent to apply for senior only housing, which they hope will solve some of the issues they are having with property damage.